16 to 4, there's Anastasia, and me and Tim did this interview with Lulu, Heather, and Anastasia all together, so it's always going to be havoc, of course. So let me, now, from the studio, hand over to me in the green room. Steve! All right, thanks very much, Steve. I'm out here now with Anastasia, Good. Lulu, and Heather Small, and Tim Smith. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Lulu, Anastasia and Heather Small are singing sensations with millions of record sales between them. Anastasia is best known as the singer behind the hit I'm Out of Love and many others which led to 14 million album sales in Europe alone. Count them if you like. Lulu is one of Britain's best loved exports. <laughs> I didn't know you'd been exported. <laughs> with hits such as, oh you know the hits, I'm not going to go through them. And Heather Small of course is the front woman of M People who were propelled to fame with hits such as Proud, Moving On Up and Searching for a Hero and sold over 10 million records with them people and now all three of them are together. Now how can you go wrong, Tim? Could you go wrong? You can't. Here come the girls. Here come the girls, yeah! These are three of the greatest voices of all time. Wow. That's, of that's all time. Dirty. So, what about working together? Have you three, Heather, worked together before? Well, I haven't worked with them before, but I am so looking forward to it. We've been having a ball the last few days. So, are you going to do individual hits and then come together for the other singers' hits or do other songs? All of the above. We're doing some of our own songs, but mainly we're actually singing together. It's a show about being together, having a good time, singing great songs. So, we actually are enjoying the whole ultimate posse moment. I mean, are you competing, Lulu? I think, I think that's a very good point. And I think what happens when you work together for the greater good, we want the show to be great. So everybody wants to be at their best. And because she is great and she's great, they're both great. I'm going to rise to be as good as they are. Oh, please. Yes. Eh, wah, wah. You know, we only wish to be as great as the people surrounding us. Exactly she's exactly insane to that's say. That's why we're working together, because there's a lot of girls actually who said, they, oh, I wouldn't get up with you. I wouldn't get up with her. I wouldn't get up with her but we're up for it they don't realize i'm learning their repertoire as soon as i hear her songs i'll be in there <laughs> oh well God. i was just going to ask that because wouldn't it be cool for all three of you to come on you're probably going to do this anyway come on and sing each other's songs that's what we do you that's knew what that well, that's what we do it's really what the show's about it's sort of how we created it when we did it last year we're just in part two and we're probably going to do three and four and five just we all sing really to, fun. yeah we sing with each other all the time I mean, I think there may be one song we do individually. Yeah. And it's great to sing each other's songs. Yeah. How did all of this actually come about? My fault. Yeah. I'm to blame. No. You know, I did a couple of gigs with friends. I went out with Kiki D, with Paul Carrick, with John Miles. And one gig, I sort of said to my manager, we should take this on the road. And he suggested we do it with girls. And I said, no, 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 we should keep it mixed up. So here we are with the girls. <laughs> This could be like, because you're all kind of globally famous and your voices are known globally, uh, this could be like a worldwide thing, couldn't it, Heather? I think so. I think it's going to be a good show and I want as many people as possible to see it. And that's what you want when you do something that you're happy with and you're proud of and you have fun with. I thought it was interesting that you said the other day, she came to the show. She came last year. Anastasia and I always say, you come to the show, the philosophy is you want to go out for a good night get up on your feet and that's exactly what they did before we even came on stage because that's what we like to do when we go to a show and Heather said she came along can I repeat what you said yeah go on <laughs> did you tell them go on what did I say no I came to the show they were singing on stage and I thought I would love to be up there with them I said to myself they don't realize I am singing along to every single song and that kind of joy that kind of enjoyment you know you definitely want to be part of so when I was asked I jumped at it Aww. it's fun it really is fun go girl and I always think of you and Anastasia as uh, I probably said this to you before as kind of like a slightly kind of um, uh, central European kind of singer hanging out with a Prince Albert in Monaco and doing all of that stuff you're you're a bit of that aren't you oh I'm totally that's you got me pegged bro that's totally that is so me like I can't even tell you no but it's true because a lot of the time you're away doing stuff and it'll be like you'll be in Monaco you'll be in I don't know Norway or somewhere Monaco. Okay, you're so sexy you right now. Monaco, you say, exactly. You say tomato, I say tomato, honey. Or, or Boston. Monaco. I told you about your
pronunciation before. Will you get it right? Listen, what I want to ask you, first of all, Anastasia, I mean, how do you all get on backstage? Because you're all shy, you're all retiring, you're all quite, I mean, what do you find to do and talk about after a show or before a show? Um, you know, I think we, we have nothing to say because we we're really, really, you know, quite recluse and, you know, we just don't want to speak very much Yeah, and together. I always, always find that I have to fill in the gaps. It's always... Right, yeah, totally. I hear you, girl. Tim and I said, what we're going to do, we're going to do this pre-record, we're going to go outside into the control room, everyone's going to talk individually, and it's not going to be cackly. His great plan was that nobody talks over anybody else. That may have gone wrong. Yeah. Uh, Monday, 22nd of November, Edinburgh Playhouse. Tuesday, 23rd of November, Glasgow Clyde Auditorium. Thursday, 25th November, Liverpool Echo Arena. Birmingham NIA, Friday, 26th of November. Then on to Brighton, Hammersmith Apollo, two dates. That's Monday, November 29th and 30th, of course. Cardiff Arena, 2nd of December. And then on to Portsmouth, Bournemouth, Manchester, Newcastle, Sheffield and Nottingham Trent FM. Arena. Anastasia, Lulu, Heather Small.